ArcGIS Geoanalytics Server extends the capabilities of ArcGIS Enterprise to quickly analyze your large data using distributed computing through Apache Spark. Now, we've enabled parallel analysis through Apache Spark with ArcGIS Pro. Recording events, such as a 311 call, a vehicle entering an area of interest, or someone using an app, can result in large data sets where time matters as much as the location. Here, I have 4.5 million Uber pickup locations in New York City over five months. With this much data, it can be hard to determine what's important. So I'm going to use spatiotemporal clustering to help highlight important times and locations. To do this, I'm going to use a spatiotemporal clustering algorithm as part of the tool Find Point Clusters. I'm looking for clusters of at least 20 Uber pickups within 50 meters and 10 minutes of each other. These represent an event letting out or a surge of customers. When this analysis is running, Spark is running on machine and being executed across all of the cores. For example, here you can see that all cores are actively being used. The results show distinct clusters of Uber pickup locations. For example, you can see many are located at the airports, which we expect. Unexpected clusters are the ones that are the most interesting. Using the time and the location, I found some at the US Open, cruises, and fashion events at the Jacob Javits Center. Because my analysis is powered by Spark, I'm able to quickly start digging into results, even though it's a computationally expensive operation. Now, what if I want to run even larger data or write my own custom Spark analysis? Here I have a notebook with 2.8 billion points of GPS shipping data from Marine Cadaster. I'm interested in visualizing where the ships have traveled off the West Coast. To do this, I need to reconstruct the points into shipping paths, summarize them into bins, and clip those bins to the boundaries that I'm interested. One way to do this is to run the three tools back to back. This will create three result layers. But what if I'm only interested in this final result? One benefit of Spark is the ability to pipeline tools. With the GeoAnalytics tool Run Python Script, you can chain tools together and write your own custom PySpark code. This means you can chain multiple GeoAnalytics tools together or use PySpark such as SparkML or Spark SQL. Here I've written a function that chains three tools together and writes one single result. There's no intermediate layers. When I run the function, it runs on the Spark cluster set up with my GeoAnalytics server and runs across all the cores of my machine. The result layer took 57 minutes, and in it you can clearly see the shipping lanes and where boats are traveling off the west coast of the US. I just used three GeoAnalytics tools, but with the 20 plus tools available, as well as the entire PySpark API, you have extensive options on what you can explore and discover with your own data sets. Back to you, Jay.